Hello, everyone. Welcome back for the third episode of the Educational Learning Nugget. I'm coming to you today from Leicester Public Schools, where I'm back at work and sharing strategies with teachers. And one that we were working on today was around story elements and students building a foundation for writing stories. And one of the things is we often think of stories in a completed sense, or we think of graphic organizers, but all of those look the same. So I wanted to provide an opportunity to share with you how students can be independent with building their story foundation. So I'm gonna share my screen with you, share with you four things that I like to talk about and share you a resource, Padlet, that'll help you do this. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick. And this is just for me, something that I like to share when we talk about building story. I like to talk about establishing context. I like to talk about focusing on characters. I like to talk about creating conflict and deliver a resolution. I was sharing some of the things with my staff and this one little nugget I wanted to share with you. So I'm gonna just focus on these four elements for today. And the application I wanna share with you is Padlet. I think it's a great opportunity to use these in a way in a Padlet to allow students to build a story foundation. So I'm gonna switch over to Padlet real quick. Those of you who have not used Padlet, um, it's a great opportunity. Visit my website at mxjspeaker.com and go to virtual learning. We did a lot with that on the full remote learning nugget. But today is just a short, quick, how to use Padlet for this specific uh, skill. So we're gonna use, go over here to make a Padlet. And for what I like to use is the shelf for this task because it keeps things in, in an order because we're talking about those four things. I'm gonna select this. And again, there's a lot you can do here with settings. For today, I'll just say story foundation. Make sure it happens when you go fast. And here you can write your own description. You can add more here. And I won't go into all the different settings here. But the reason I like this is that you can start adding columns for students or have them do it. So the first, as we're gonna go real quick, establishing context. We can even copy and paste. We can go from here. This could be our first column, right? Then we can add a second column, which was characters. See where I'm going with this? And now we can go to here. We can put conflict. We can put resolution. And we can use Padlet to help students start to, to think about. And, and I know you might be thinking, well, we have graphic organizers for this. Fully understand that. But at the same point, what this allows you to do is maybe say, I won't type a lot here, but thought one, two, three. Let's say, oh, actually this idea should go here. Let's move this. All right, let's change this to idea one. And this thought actually is more of a conflict. You know, let's move this over here. Now that's under conflict. Oops. And you can see, start to see, and this actually was more of about the context, but it's about friends. Move it over here, actually. And then we could have another issue. And as you can see, you can go through and students can build this, move things around, and use this to see their thinking. And then once they have this, yes, it's like a graphic organizer, but allow them, the students, to build it themselves. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen for now because I wanted to jump back here and just say using these four uh, structures using Padlet as a tool, allows students to be independent, allows them to see their thinking visually. And also if you use Padlet, you can add photos, you can add external links. There's a lot more you can do with Padlet. And, but for today, for this educational learning nugget, I wanted to just show you that one strategy to use Padlet for building a story foundation. Continue to check in on all the educational nuggets, check out the website below. And I'd love to hear from you, some of yours that you can contribute as well. Have a great day.